Yo, it's your boy Tells from the Crypto, the non-wing candy, Crypto Bandit, flew to the moon and landed, catch me on the island like I'm stranded, <laughs> we about to get into this bullish news, baby, let's go. I would never fail to leave you bullish as hell, stuffing bags to the fullest, don't sell, this is Crypto Tales. Yo, let's get it, China's opting out of US run financial system, this is a big deal, we about to get out of this dollar, move into cryptocurrency, XRP up 17% on Ripple IPO. Biden's capital gains tax to pull crypto down to earth from the moon. Man, I don't like the way that sounds. US stricter crypto regulation on the way. And they trying to take all your money with all the taxes. It might get ugly. Don't be shocked. Biggest one day USDC print in history marks lowest Bitcoin dominance in years. Smell something cooking. Let's get it. China is opting out a U.S. run financial system. Let's see what they're saying. If the U.S. government does not lead financial innovation, China will leapfrog it and control the world's emerging monetary infrastructure. An ancient Chinese proverb states that the man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. China has perfected that like no other nation and has been working to create the infrastructure for leapfrog to global reserve currency status by innovating. Building and controlling the plumbing of a competing global financial system, digital currencies are a key part of this great game. The U.S. with Security Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler in the lead has taken notice and is finally beginning to stir. Gensler once told, NPR markets work best when there's a cop on the beat. His observation speaks for the competing among international central banks, but it's the People's Bank of China that may ultimately become the one and only unofficial cop monitoring and influencing global financial flows. The current global financial system is managed by Wall Street and the Washington Consensus. China wants to have more control over its destiny by using other currencies in a cross-border digital world. Wang Jin, director of PBOC Research Division, stated, if the digital currency is closely associated with the U.S. dollar, it will create a scenario under which sovereign countries can coexist with U.S. dollar-centric digital currencies. But there will be, in essence, one boss. That is the U.S. dollar in the United States. If so, it would bring a series of economic, financial, and even international political consequences. China recently announced that it joined the Central Bank Digital Currency Bridge Project, demonstrating its willingness to design a world without the U.S. dollar supporting it. While China eclipses the United States in the space race for digital currencies, could that be a Betamax versus VHS scenario of compatible financial systems? The world may depend on the U.S. dollar presently, but the world may switch to other currencies under China's influence. If the U.S. government doesn't lead private-public partnerships encouraging financial innovation, then China will leapfrog in and control the world's financial infrastructure. Despite unresolved banking system issues, the Chinese have applied former European Central Bank President and current Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi dictum to do whatever it takes to their administration of national and potentially international financial affairs. The Chinese know that the financial fishbowl built by the West decades ago lacks the legacy control over the future flow of world's money. An old Chinese proverb says, if you want to know what the water is, don't ask the fish. If members of the dollar-denominated financial system are the fish, the fresh perspectives are needed to unseat the PBOC's advantageous position in the global market. Markets. For decades, China has worked on alternatives to Western-dominated SWIFT system and has sought to attain more powerful position within global financial governance institutions such as the International Monetary Fund. Recently, it has given its fintech industry massive support, effectively putting it in a command emerging market position, access to payment grants, the Chinese government unprecedented access to its citizens, buying decisions, and taxable wealth. China's aggressive push into central bank digital currencies is the next step in the process of establishing a credible alternative to euro in the East and dominance of regional finances. In short, China has taken a number of actions to put its position at the forefront of global fintech revolution, actions that require a coordinated and consistent response if China is to be prevented from influencing the global financial infrastructure in a direct manner. Wang Jin also said that PBOC sees itself in a race with the United States on digital currencies. He added, we had an early start, but lots of work is needed to consolidate our lead. The intent of the People's Bank of China Central Bank Digital Currency, often referred to as the digital one, is to offer an alternative to cash. A leader in cashless payments, China is touching the digital one in real world trials in Shane and I don't even know how to say none of this in other cities while experimenting with the idea of expanding use to international athletes and visitors at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. So I'm not gonna read this whole article because it's super long, but you guys get the point. They're on the move, they're trying to control the money, they don't want to be under the dollar any longer, and America needs to step their game up. Next article. Biden's capital gains tax plan to pull crypto down to earth from the moon. Ooh, sounds like a no-go, Biden. 
There are often multiple cases for an asset sharp decline, but Bitcoin 10% nosedive, which took place on April 22nd, may be blamed on the Biden administration report plan to tax capital gains at double the current rate on America's wealthiest. Bitcoin is habitually volatile, so one probably shouldn't read too much into a double digit swing in any given week, but it might be as good as a place as any to reflect upon the possible impact of the United States capital gains tax and taxes in general upon the future growth of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. Could it hinder long-term adoption if so, in what way? Will the Biden plan even reach fruition? Given the vagaries of U.S. politics, how too does one explain the many market eruptions in the face of mere possibility of more taxes in a single nation? What sort of misceptions might be harboring with regards to crypto taxation generally? The price drop can probably be attributed to a number of factors and rumors. The month end expiration of future positions, which resulted in liquidation of positions that triggered a slide. Marcus Vaith, a partner in audit practice at Grant Thornton LLP and leader of the firm's digital asset practice, told Coin Telegraph. There are also reports generally, though, to be false, that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen was spearheading an effort to impose a 80% capital gains tax rate on cryptocurrencies, as well as rumored that the U.S. Treasury was investigating financial institutions for illicit use of cryptocurrency, which the DOJ would do not the treasury. Then there were also comments about a drop in Chinese mining capacity. A lot was happening this week. David Trainer, CEO investment research firm, New Constructs, downplayed the BC price gyration stating, 10% volatility is nothing new for BTC and crypto in general. Meanwhile, Tyler Menzer, a CPA and doctoral student and accountant in the University of Iowa noted, while the tax news does coincide with the drop, it may be one of the many contributor factors. The taxes do matter. The Biden proposal will put the effective tax rate above 50% in certain states and will be detrimental to job creation. Carlos Bentecor, a co-founder of BK Coin Capital in Miami, told Newsweek adding and would continue to accelerate the move from states like California and New York to more tax-friendly states like Florida and Texas that have no state income tax. This is still an early stage in new administration, of course, and there are some questions whether a doubling of the capital gains on the wealthiest to 39.6% as proposed will even make it through Congress intact or the rate will eventually be reduced. Someone needs to pay for all the stimulus deficit and national debt, so very likely you will see a tax increase in the near future. Whether capital gains or something else is still to be decided. Majarwani, a Price Waterhouse Coopers tax partner in San Francisco, told Coin Telegraph. However, Omri Marin, professor of law at the University of California Irvine School of Law, said that the proposal will unlikely be accepted in its current form. The Democratic majority in Congress is just too narrow for this. Marion informed Coin Telegraph. Chris Winston, head of research at the Pepper Stone Group, a forex broker, said the numbers being proposed at the juncture will unlikely pass the Senate in its current form, and centrist Democrats will not back the top. Numbers. But casting rumors aside, if a doubling of the capital gains tax passed through Congress intact, would it necessarily mean stormy weather for cryptocurrency and blockchain technology? Maybe not. Nathan Goldman, assistant professor of accounting at North Carolina State University, told Coin Cointelegraph after consulting with his co-author on BTC taxation matters, Christine Llewellyn, that the new capital gains tax are geared towards the wealthy, those with more than a million dollars in annual income and they would be paid only upon the sale of digital assets. Still, taxes likely do have an effect on Bitcoin prices, said Menzer. Continue as we have a lot of prior research on a wide variety of outcomes and aspects of life that are affected by tax rates, especially in the financial sector. So I'm not going to read this whole article, but you basically get the idea that it was suggested by Biden that he wanted to basically double the capital gains tax, but it hasn't even passed any Congress yet. So who knows what will happen with that? next article biggest one day usdc print in history marks lowest bitcoin dominance in years more usdc was printed on april 30th than at any time in a dollar backed stablecoin existence as just over 3 billion was minted in one fell swoop new usdc are minted whenever a customer exchanges their us dollars for the stablecoin and friday's influx amounted to over 26 percent of market cap at the time the sudden arrival of 3 billion worth of usdc into the current cryptocurrency market coincides with a surging altcoin market evidenced by bitcoin's descent to to its lowest market cap dominance in two and a half years. Bitcoin's dominance of 47.79 on Friday was the lowest since August 2018 as Ethereum 
Binance Smart Chain, Cardano, and others saw their own market cap presence swell massively since the turn of the year. In early January, Bitcoin's dominance was perched at over 70% has been on a steady decline since. The value of USDC coin in circulation jumped from 11 billion to almost 14 billion on Friday, meaning the USDC coin now has a market cap worth 28% of most utilized coins, Tether USDT, of which over 50 billion are in circulation. In August 2020, USD coin held a market cap worth just one tenth of Tether, suggesting traders have found a definite use for USDC, perhaps at the expense of USDT. Circle, which founded USDC coin, is combination with well known cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, recently announced that it has tapped New York based Signature Bank to ensure the backing of USDC with appropriate reserves. USD coin is reportedly backed by a mix of cash and short term US Treasury bonds. So it sounds like more money is coming into crypto. They're trying to get it regulated. Hopefully they don't stifle innovation and we going to the moon. Let's do it. XRP up 17% on hopes of Ripple IPO. XRP has risen 17% over the past day as a string of court victories of parent company Ripple and an earnings call to CEO SBI Group revealed that Ripple was aiming for an IPO. XRP created by the founder of Ripple has climbed 17% in 24 hours to 165, a 48% gain on its price this time last week. The price saw a strong swing overnight after it emerged that the payment company is considering a public listing as soon as its dispute with the SEC over the status of XRP is settled. The IPO news was revealed by Yoshitaki Katao, CEO of Japanese financial giant SBI Group. Ripple's largest backer is in an earnings call. After the current lawsuit, Ripple will go public, he said, explaining that the company's founders are in favor of the move. Ripple founder and CEO Brad Garlinghouse teased a potential public offering for the company last year, calling it a natural evolution for our company. And Rashid Berla tweeted, I'm bullish on BTC as a store of value, but not for payments. You don't want to use BTC at Starbucks because by the time you get that coffee, it's going to be cold. Brad Garlinghouse at Wall Street Journal, Journal House. Good point on why there won't be one crypto to rule them all, she Earl of Gnomes. In the next 12 months, you'll see IPOs in the crypto blockchain space. We're not going to be the first, but we're definitely not going to be the last. Why I expect us to be on the leading side in a natural evolution for our company. Let them know. He also predicted that the IPO will become more common within the crypto industry, and that's proven true following the recent listing of U.S. crypto exchange Coinbase, with others such as BAC announced that they will follow soon. However, Ripple first needs to convince the court that the SEC lawsuit against them is alleged that XRP is a security holds no water. Emboldened by recent wins on April 13th, Ripple moved to dismiss the lawsuit entirely. But despite the illegal proceedings, XRP has been buoyed by the recent price swell for the crypto industry as a whole. Trading in the 140 level is something XRP has experienced since in 2018. But it's not been a straightforward week. XRP sunk as low as 103 at the end of last week before rising quickly to 143 on Tuesday. It has now surpassed its weekly peak of 157. Currently, XRP is the fourth largest crypto currency by market cap however the coin still needs to add at least 25 percent of it to regain its last 2021 highs of 195 and, and overtake the third largest coin bnb a big court win could do the trick let's go thanks again for checking out my video make sure you hit the like and subscribe and let your friends know to watch out for some more bullish news from tales from the crypto i'm out tales will never fail it ain't hard to tell crypto tells are real teach you not to sell how do be the motto hit the likes and follow about to get these dollars like we hit the lotto